Hi, this is Ritwik. I am from VIT and I am making this video as a part of my digital assignment for the subject Computer Architecture and Organization. So the topic that I, that I am going to deal with is IS Architecture. This is very important for this Computer Architecture subject. So stay tuned and see if I can explain it to you. So let's begin with introduction. Basically computer architecture is the computer structure which we have for any machine. Like it's it computer architecture contains all the instruction formats or addressing modes or instruction sets and general organization of all the CPU registers. So here we go. What happens is in the previous systems the works which we did was extremely tedious so we came up with a better system and that was IES computer it, it is also known as one human machine so it had a new concept and which was known as stored co program concept what it says is that the program which is stored in a computer in the computer is stored along with some relevant data so the, uh, therefore it has three parts the main memory the CPU and the input or output equipment so what happens actually is that program counter contains the instruction of next uh, address of the next instruction and then which which is actually stored in main memory and then the commands are sent to the arithmetic logic unit it uh, processes the data the command and it gives the output memory of IAS so memory of IES is the capacity of memory is accessed in terms of words. So there are a total of thousand storage locations in IES. Uh, that means thousand words. For each word, there is like forty bits, and you can use those forty bits for either storing an instruction or a number. If you store a number, it will the first bit will contain the sign bit either it is positive or negative and the rest of 39 bits store the value and, and if you are storing an instruction then it has two parts opcode and address you can see here the opcode part stores 8 bits and address part stores 12 bits so therefore we can have two instructions in a word the left instruction from 0 to 20 and the right instruction from 20 to 39 and if we store our number, we have one signed bit and from 0 to 1 of course and from 1 to 39 we have the value, bit value. In one human machine we have very various type of registers. So let's see one by one. The first one is MBR, memory buffer register. Here it is. So what happens is it contains the word which is to be stored in memory or which is just received from memory like it is uh, yeah so MBR directly talks it directly has contact contact with main memory so main memory gives things to MBR and MBR gives things back to the memory although MBR is you can say MBR is the central point because it is directly connected to the arithmetic logic unit as well as main memory as well as other registers and input or output equipment also so basically MBR MBR, the memory buffer register, is the central point of IES architecture. Now let's see memory address register. Memory address register is here. It basically stores the address in uh, address which is being given by MBR or PC. That means like uh, it stores the address which is to be accessed from the main memory. The next one is instruction register. Instruction uh, register, as as you can recall, that I just told you, in an instruction there are two parts: opcode and address. So the opcode, which is eight bit, is stored in IR. Like whenever an instruction goes to MBR from the main memory, it uh, comes and it gets bifurcated. From okay, I'll, I'll uh, come to that part later. Now let's see instruction buffer register. It is also a register which uh, stores the right instruction. Here you can see there is one right instruction and one left instruction. So the right hand side of the instruction is stored in IBR 
and the left hand side is uh, again di uh, diverged into opcode and address the opcode is, in, is stored in IR and address in MAR the PC of course stores the address of the next instruction and AC the accumulator and uh, multiply question holds the result of the arithmetic logic out uh, holds the result which is given out by ALU and there are the in, there are various instruction sets like as I told uh, opcode store uh, opcode needs 8 bit so here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 bits for each instruction there is a unique opcode since all the machines to, um, works on like uh, IS works on binary digits so the each uh, we can we can't just uh, write load we have to use a binary opcode for it like a binary code for it which is known as opcode so for this load which have only one uh, you can say one part has this opcode whereas the load which has two parts has this opcode so you can see even a single thing like load has different kinds of it like load mq what it does is basically loads the content which is stored in mq to the accumulator and uh, load mq comma mx what it does is it it loads the value of um, the data present at uh, x location in the memory to mq so each load has a different function so hence it has a different opcode similarly there is store and jump jump plus there are different instruction sets overall we have divided we can uh, divide instruction set into few parts like data transfer load store these basically mm, transfer the data from one register to another and then there is unconditional branch which means we have to take uh, like this jump excuse me jump what it does is basically when this condition maps up when this condition maps then you jump from this instruction to that that is unconditional similarly conditional then we have arithmetic instructions like add subtract multiply divide left shift right shift okay these two are in interesting because it doesn't have any uh, you can say it, it doesn't have any part on in uh, on its right side what it does is basically uh, lsh left shift right uh, multiplies the accumulator content by 2 it basically shifts the contents one one bit left so it multiplies it by 2 and uh, uh, right shift divides the content by 2 and then there is address modify we can modify the address and all these were the IES instruction set now let's uh, see the so now let's see how the memory thing works in IES let this be a question let be this be a problem for us so the com uh, first word is this it ha it has two values two instructions add mx501 which is the right instruction and load mx500 that is the right uh, left instruction similarly word 2 has store mx500 and any other instruction in the right part so this is our problem and since we have used the memory locations 500 and 501 we have a value stored at it so in uh, at memory location 500 which is present in main, me main memory it stores 3 and location number 501 stores the value 4 in main, man main memory and here in this table you can see the current contents of all the registers so before starting the machine the PC the program counter holds the value uh, address of next instruction since the next instruction is the word which is stored at memory location 1 so it PC contains value 1 so let's see how it works first of all PC gives the value of 1 or the next instruction to MAR MAR is nothing but memory address register so now MAR also contains the value 1 now MAR gives that address to main memory it says main memory just give the uh, values present at word 1 to MBR so now MBR has the instruction the whole word the left part as well as right part so M it, it is the work of MBR that it bifurcates these two instructions and give the left part to sorry uh, yeah 
so it gives the right part to IBR and the left part to IR and MAR so the add MX501 is given to IBR which was the right instruction and the left instruction is now divided into two opcode as well as the address so address is given to MAR and opcode to IR now MAR contains the value 500 so it is the work of MAR to uh, further send it to main memory then main memory sees ok the address is 500 and the value is 3 so I will give the three value 3 to MBR now MBR has value 3 it gives to since the work for uh, MBR is now to pass it to ALU so ALU gives the value 3 to accumulator and accumulator content is now updated you can see here it is now 3 now this add MX thing is given to IR so before this just uh, see the instruction register had the value uh, had the opcode load so what it did is load the value present at MX to accumulator so the value 3 is loaded to accumulator now the uh, left side instruction which was add MX501 is again divided into two parts the opcode in IR and the address in MAR now address again MAR gives this 501 value to main memory and since the first uh, word is being completed like the first instruction is being done so the PC content is updated to 2 because the next instruction after this would be the second word so MAR now gives the address value to main memory main, me main memory again access the, uh, accesses and processes it to be 4 so the 4 value is again given to MBR now the command is add and the value is 4 so the AC content will be added with the value 4 and hence it is updated to be 7 and this process goes on now the uh, again PC gives the well, uh, the address of the next instruction which is 2 MAR again gives it to main memory main memory again gives the whole word to MBR MBR again bifurcates the instruction and this process goes on and that is how the main thing the memory thing happens in IAS so let's see the instruction format for like in every instruction there are two parts the opcode part and the address now we can do a lot of things with that the opcode has 8 bits only but the address part we can have either one address one address two address or three address so how it works is like this if we have one address like add x then it basically adds the value present at x uh, x memory location so the data presented uh, at memory location x is added to ac and ac content is updated when we have two uh, registers like add r1 and r2 then the r1 content is updated by adding r1 and r2 similarly if we have three registers like add r1 r2 and r3 then r1 content is updated by the value r2 plus r3 so this is how it works three uh, two two address instructions or three ad address instructions and then there is one zero address instructions also like uh, it is basically done for stack purposes like it, it has a zero address we don't have to add anything after add like if we have pu uh, we push a into the stack and then we push b so the stack now has a and then above it it has b now if we give a command add it will add a and b and the value would be stored so that is how zero address instruction works now there are different addressing modes like uh, you can directly add give the data to a command like add 40 so it will add 40 to the accumulator or we can give an, a register add r1 which, which means that add the contents of r1 to accumulator we can also write a uh, thing like add r1 comma r2 that means add the content of r2 and r1 and store it to r1 so that is how addressing mode works so there are different type of addressing modes implied immediate register register indirect auto increment auto decrement oh, what it does is it basically increments the value present in ac by one 
so auto increment increases by one auto decrement decreases by one and then there is direct addressing indirect addressing relative index base registers you can read all of them you can just pause the video and read the contents that's all for now thanks for watching i know i stammered a bit at places but that was my first time so sorry for that forgive me and i hope i can i'll make more videos if the responses are good and please let me know if you have any query drop your questions in the comment section thanks and do subscribe and like the video